follow us, freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. Oh, please, it's the result that counts. Gotta take risks sometimes if you want to succeed. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Oh, the cheek! That woman had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. <laughs> right. Too late to repent. Who invited you? Who will it be? This will strengthen our position. Too late to repent. No manners, huh? huh? <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. Watch this awesome move! The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision! Break! <laughs> Let's go! Everything is ordained by the stars. stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing! Rules are made to be broken. Fighting is meaningless. Scared yet? Huh? <laughs> Phew! Let's make it quick. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. Too late to repent. This will strengthen our position. to repent. You couldn't have done it without me. to repent.
Reach the end of the story in your own way. This will strengthen our position. Wait! There are Silver Mane guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out! Look familiar? Yes. We saw one in Serval's workshop. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. We should avoid an open conflict. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Mm, I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. <laughs> This will strengthen our position. Fighting is meaningless. No manners, huh? huh? This is our chicken. You couldn't have done it without me. Broken. Gotta try hard. Watch this awesome move. Everything is oh star. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Move carefully.
The truth of life is sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break! <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Watch this awesome move! Try that again! I've no interest in... Rules are made to be broken. Fighting is good. I'm going This will strengthen our position. <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender! We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Oh, well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine! Those stars? Give these trailblazers your blessing! Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move! The truth of life and death is sanctuary. It's but a vision! Break! Scared yet? Who will it be? Uh. 
Lady Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers. Nice. Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. It is not death which creates them. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You have passed, witnessed, the world we have promised. A temple bearing misunderstanding for an eternity. Understand. <sighs> Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sam Bokoski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze. Before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratched my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? 
come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Good. You were out for a while. I was beginning to worry. You were saying some strange things. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So, I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So, if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her, but it seems that he left his post, and she made a run for it. Good question. <laughs> He's a... man of mystery. He claims to be a simple... cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermain Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. Where should I start? that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. <laughs> Hook isn't an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. 
Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Uh, th this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sanpo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide and seek. Do you get it? Huh, when did you start being so nice? Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The most time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um, phew, I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Boss, they don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? You're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. The mining team is hiring. to wait. Let's see what he wants. Hmm. <whistles> My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy. But... <laughs> Nonsense! <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. Uh, but, but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. <sighs> Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. The mining team is hiring. Sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You're in the footnote somewhere. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Mm, yes. The 
boss of the moles is true to her word. Look, saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? You don't talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the fight club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Well, no, so just useless. Come with Hook. I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Uh -huh. In fact, it's awesome! The mining team is hiring. This will strengthen our position. Hey, I heard a new fighter showed up at the club. A uh, young guy, dark hair. They say he's invincible. Where'd it come from? I heard someone say he's an elite Silvermane guard. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The Silvermane guards have been gone for ages. Why would one suddenly appear out of the blue? <laughs> by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Farag! Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say. Whatever! And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters! An unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked! You're welcome! Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion! The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable! 
But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fists of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Well, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Fighting is meaningless. No manners, huh? <laughs> Tough luck running into me! <laughs> you! <laughs> Try that again! I've no interest in... Get after him. Too far. Let's search nearby. It's you! 
I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Say that you saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, my friends, what do I have to fear? Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. If I hadn't made a break for it, Japard would have caught all of us. And do you think he would have given you a chance to explain yourselves? Hmm? He would have checked you straight into the Gray Bar Hotel. Meanwhile, there I was, looking out for you from the shadows. Do you know how difficult it was to make an entrance? They were watching you the whole time. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win! I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Have a little faith. It's like I said, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> Wildfire do all day? Buy everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Huh. Where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? 
I wouldn't dare. Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on. My dear fellow, I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Zila's usually always out on patrol here at this time. What's Wildfire up to? Hmm. Are they avoiding me? Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. But we can't just leave her. Yeah! Now you're getting it! Let's help her. Alright, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantries. <laughs> Miss Zila, phew, it's a good thing you showed up when you did, Maya. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Oh, shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear Silvermane Guard is paying the underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the underworlders? The Silvermane guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters, and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You? Protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? What good is your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The Chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the Chief, hmm? Huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving.
Thank <laughs> you. 